Hey guys! What's hey guys! Yeah, um... Wario Land 2. Wario Land 2. Oh yeah. boy, yeah, I remember uh, this one. I don't even know what I'm uh, doing at this point. I remember, like, completely failing at this. Uh, I tried to clear the data. Okay. Because of testing and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, do that on screen, yeah. Very good. Um, I believe I didn't use any cheats in this one. Because this game, you can't die. Okay, Nowhere in this game. game. I remember the angry video game nerd, like, said in one of, one of his games, it's like, how can you call it a game when you can't die? And it's like, whoa, 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 yeah, what am I doing now? Oh, yeah, I'm looking at who who did it. Ah, oh, the good old YouTube days. It looked like this. But, um, yeah, okay, let's talk about views. Uh, good 7,000 and 13 thumbs up. Uh, some guy remember but if I search his name up some guy posted a video response or whatever and he basically just filmed the screen for like a minute of yeah I am Captain Buzz yeah he filmed the screen of that of me just doing it and I'm like yeah cool uh, and around the time as well first person who's actually like done done something for me but yeah um, my commentary in this is awful. Oh, I'm learning the controls. Yeah, yeah, you can hear me knock the mic. That's how horrible the SingStar mic is. The Rock Band microphone? Uh, I believe Super Genius uses a Rock Band microphone with a pop filter or whatever in front of it. And it sounds so good! And I'm using a SingStar microphone, no pop filter, and it sounds so crackly. I think a pop, I don't think a pop filter helps the crackly, but it helps the peas and whatnot, and I don't have a pop. Yeah. Uh, but, um... I actually, I actually, this was like the first game I went for 100% on. No, Toy Story, jeez. Get your facts straight. Um... Super Mario Land, you can't really tell. How did you mess that up so many times? But anyway, yeah. Warrior Land 2 is actually a pretty cool game. I'd actually like to play it again. Um, it was pretty long. 32 parts. That was very... A quite long game. Um, and it was very fun to play as well. Uh, I may as well explain the game as well, because of course I haven't explained it enough. Uh, basically, Warrior Land is... More so a bit of a exploration kind of game. We have to go through stages and progress in order to get past certain obstacles or to go in different routes, as well as getting a score, of course. Uh, but to go different routes and stuff, you'll need to do stuff. None of the enemies can kill you, but they can reduce your score, as well as also give you special, special kind of what is it? What would I say? Ailments such as getting squished, like as you saw before. It was a very fun game. Uh, but um. Of course, my commentary isn't the best. Uh, when was this? This was this was still back in back in the day. This was in August, which was a little bit after my original uploads. Uh, yeah, I remember mid uploading this. I uploaded my introduction movie, which is basically like stuff. I don't know. I also uploaded a spore video showing this creature I called Snorty. Off as you will. Unfortunately, I don't have rewinds, so let's see, um, Unfortunately, I don't have rewinds? Wow. Jeez. Oh, yeah. Jeez, I'm into that. Yeah, I used to speed up so much. I think it was this one! But yeah. Crap. Oh! Um, yes, what else? I don't know what to talk about, really, so for this one. Um, I think way, I increased the resolution a bit, because of the hypercams cool, up there. Kinda like Sonic. Kind of like Sonic. I understand the kind of like Sonic because anyway, you break through the worse. through the wall. In 2D games, you don't need an indication on. Well, actually, yeah, in 2D games, you don't need an indication on the wall if you can so, see yeah. past the wall. Well, the like I remember Zelda, how you can go through different rooms, but bombing the wall, like they need an indication like, there. That's kind of there. Seriously, seriously, everything 2005 onwards is just all okay. shooters. I remember the good old PS2 ga days, where the best PS2 gaze, no PS2 days, 
Whoop! Now I'm even showing the poor screen. Lovely. But I just remember the good old PS2 game game days where most games weren't shooters. I wasn't expecting that, by the way. Um, the good old PS2 days when all when the games you had was like. Yeah, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, well, maybe not Spyro, Spyro was kind of sucky back then. Um, PS2, mind you. Um, now the whole market is shooters, and that sucks. And by the way, this stage was to break the alarm clock. Falcon Punch! Falcon Punch? Now I'm gonna play this game. You know what, what you do? Um. I didn't. I didn't know what um, to do. You need to find out what it is. Oh, you what need to guess what what number it is, um, and it costs 50 coins to be, reveal it. Uh, yeah, I'm just working it out right now. Or an A. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. It could be everything. Oh, I have no idea. I'm gonna say A. No. It, Yay, what oh, it was. It oh. You know what you get? You get a mm. plank. Bum. No, you get a map piece. Keep power on! But it was a very good game, this game. Um. Oh. Yeah, I know. It's a very good game. I actually would recommend this. This is probably my favorite Warrior Land game. Oh, yeah, the fire. Warrior. Oh, jeez. Jeez, emulator. You have. Well, actually, no. Jeez, me from the past. You had to speed it up. I see. Yeah. But um, and I'm swimming. And I'm swimming. Yeah, I think my rewind wasn't working on this LP, no but it was wasn't working for the best because this game doesn't need a rewind. If you really need a rewind, well, actually, actually rewinds would have made the last stage a lot easier because I remember the last stage you had to go through this kind of annoying bit in order to get to this thing, which was very difficult. Watch the LP if you want to find out or something. And anyway, if you if you mess up that last thing, you have to go through the whole thing again. And that's why the part was split up into two ten-minute bits. I actually did a pretty good job keeping on the time for. Um, no, I didn't. I didn't. It wasn't 32 parts actually. It was more like 34. Cause someone can't keep time. I actually got quite a lot of views on this. And I'm happy about it. I guess you guys got in the level. Yay, I made it. Okay. Um. No way, Jose! Jose? Whoa! Jose! Yeah, Are you yeah. going with Jose? Yeah, Are you yeah, sure you want to stick with Jose? Ugh, oh, yes. Yeah, so My vocabulary back then, I used to say crap a lot. I don't say it that much now. I think it's because I just don't get angry enough. And because uh, I have a much bigger vocabulary nowadays, I don't I don't react that high that much as well. Money. Money. Oh jeez. You know what? Actually, right after this. I might as well say it right now. Right Yay! after this, I did the Earthbound um, Let's Play. Okay, let's play this again. Right after this, um, I started the Earthbound Let's Play, and it ended up being uh, one of my more ladder LPs. Um. In fact, I didn't even okay, put it early up um, in this playlist. So I put it after um, Kirby Dreamland for some reason. Not Okay, I think I I'm having fun playing this game, apparently. It is, I it's a one! It's a one! Oh. Does that mean I have to, like, return to this level again? Uh, let the water out. Um, I'll actually leave that for next part. See you guys later. See you guys! Okay, guys. Um, Whoa, GBA. So different. I actually now own this game. This is one of the, this is one of the games I own now, but I didn't own back then. Well, I actually don't own it now. I have it on the Ambassador program. Thank you very much. Yeah.
Did I watch this intro or did I just skip it? Oh my gosh, you can really see the horrible, the horrible in overlay dots because of that freaking thing called this. No, I wasn't even using Hypercam here. I was using the um in game, uh, the Virtual Boy Advance, the Visual Boy Advance, whatever. Um, I was using that thing. It's a bit dodge, I'll say that, but it's it's in program. It's it's actually pretty pretty as well. So anyway, the game is about treasure. It actually that shadow thing is actually pretty cool for a GBA. Legendary Pyramid discovered in jungle, and then I speed up, and I speed up quite a lot. So Wario Land 4. This actually this is a weird game. Actually, I don't think. I'm not sure at the time if anybody expected. Jeez, do you have to delete the data? Do you really have to delete the? Da no, you didn't. You're a very good boy. Playing on hard. We may do it later. Um. But uh. Yeah, this game is just kind of weird. Firstly, I'll I'll start it off by saying that the, the well, firstly, the whole game is completely different to the previous games. Um, not completely, but mostly, the aim is different. Instead, you go through the stage trying to pick up a key thing to open that door, as well as pick up certain medallion pieces in order to open the boss gate, or whatever. And this first stage is a good example of it. Um. Previous games just required you to get to the end of the stage, or Warrior Land 3 required you to get items. Warrior Land 3, while it was a different aim, it played exactly the same as 2, though, so. This, it doesn't. It's like. one well, of GBA, and. and like, I don't know. And you have health. That's one thing that's different. In fact, this is the first Warrior Land game you have a health bar. And yeah, you gotta pick up those medallion things. Um, again, my voice is high. Let's talk about views, shall we? Okay, because I know you kids like views. Yeah, um, again, recording this LP was similar to Warrior Land 2. Um, I do like this introductory stage. It's very nice. Very nicely done, Nintendo. Um, who, who made this? Uh, that's, that's a bad song to sing. Let's not sing songs during this thing. During this thousandth video special, even though it's more like a thousand and fourth right now. Whoops. Throw a rock. Falcon throw. Oh yeah, this is this is July. I I got brawl like the month before or August. I had brawl the month before. Yeah, remember when brawl came out? I was kind of peeved off that it came out like three months later after the U.S. But then I'm like, you know, three months. That's okay. Any further, I'll probably get mad. Rhythm heaven. Yeah, but um. But, uh, yeah, this game was, again, with the speed-ups and the save states, I, I watched Falcon, Bear Falcon, I watched Proton John do Kaizo, that was one of my big influences, and I didn't know Kaizo was, I didn't entirely know that Kaizo was a ROM hack, I thought it was just like, it's so hard, I'm going to use an emulator, and I'm like, okay, well, these video games are going to be so hard, I'm going to use an emulator and spam all of the techniques and whatnot. This is a this is a T A L P a tool assisted let's play. Like that's so bad. So yeah, you get like a bird with a key for a nose. That's kind of weird. Some of the design in this game is kind of well. I did not get that diamond. Some of the design in this game is kind of odd. The last stage is one of those ones. Speaking of which, when am I going to get back to Shake Dimension? Hmm. 
When my when I get a capture card, maybe. Filming the TV, well, I could probably get a good uh, resolution then. Oh, by the way, yeah. Yeah, very difficult considering the end is right there. Whoa, wavy man, wavy. Save state, make sure. Yeah. 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 No, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't. It was actually a 16... No. 22 parts. 22 parts. It also got a lot of views, yes. It was mid actually, actually, I did the Picross 3D thing. I was part way through the Pic Picross 3D. Picross DS. And then I tried out the minigames! Yeah. Speaking of which, I think Picross 3D is next. Oh, DS is next. I might as well talk about that, because that's 30 seconds long, so... Um, the Picross DS thing, I was I, I was thinking back at the time that I'd have to do, like, a video walkthrough thing. Well, I have to, but I would like to do that, because, you know, I saw, I saw it on the internet. Uh, Strategy Wiki is actually one of the sites that I think is probably the best way to write a guide. Strategy Wiki, just because of the, the good contribution. You think that people are going to mess up your guides, no way. Nobody on the, on the wiki messes up, and I'm like, that, all that from one coin. Yeah, yeah that's kind of, oh, and then I, and then I speed up. Uh, what is the um, I'm looking at it. <laughs> How surreal! Oh, dude, you. S oh, okay, rewind it. Um, but uh, dude, that's not even right now. Um. But yeah, I just kind of tried it out, and I'm like, yeah. Not good. I got up to like e uh, normal seven, so that was pretty far. I, I was obviously using a guide to do it. No sound. I don't know why. I think it was because it was like, oh, you don't need sound. And I'm like, well, may as well have sound. Watch me clumsily make my way to the through the puzzle. Easy mode puzzle. Zero A. That's what it is. Okay, this one. Don't use hints. Basically, what I did. Uh, I I can't talk about this game. It's a very fun game. Um, Content-wise, there's quite a lot of puzzles. There is a lot of puzzles. There's like a good 260 something. But anyway, yeah. Uh, these easy puzzles are very quick, and unfortunately, I have to mark off all the stuff for some reason. And then, the great thing about this game is that it shows you what the thing is at the end. So anyway, yeah. And I tried doing this a lot. That's about it. I also tried making gifts for it. It didn't work very well. Making gifts is hard. Boop. Hey guys. Uh, hey guys. Oh uh, yeah, this is the one that I failed on the clearing. Oh, oh wait, oh wait, hold on. Don't continue. Don't continue. Sorry, clear, like, clear all. Yes. Do it on tape, of course. Um, I'm not quite sure why I did this after. I think it's because I knew that Warrior Land 4 was a shorter game because okay, I looked it up okay, someone's LP myself. probably. I, I, I knew Warrior Land 4 was a shorter game and I decided to do that. Anyway, he's white! Also, because the lighting, his outline is dark. Anyway, this is a kind of weird game. This is the only, like, cutscene in the game. My microphone is different. Like, you can hear me. I think I was using the iToy by now. I also decided to do this in one breath. Um, what did I do? I did after the self after the Warrior Four. I did one of my F Zero custom tracks, or more so, just one of the ones I had. It wasn't part of the thing of the whole thing. I actually did two of them. Thank goodness people thumbs it up. Uh, anyway, with this, I did it in September, and it's got quite a few comments, and I'm going to read out the comments for some reason. 
Good job, Warrior Land 4 was made one year after this. Whoa, I love this game. Oh, by the way, you remind me of myself, Harsey Eugene of... Oh, jeez, I'm not going to quote you. Ah, I'll quote you, because for the heck of it. Eugene of Savoy 18. That's what he said. Advertising. Yeah. Yeah, you would know about Warrior 4. Uh, this first level is very basic, and I'm following an FAQ from uh, I'm following an FAQ! There you go, there you go. Just blatantly say it out there. I actually do follow an FAQ for some games, but um... Sometimes it's for dependence sake, like... Like uh, Metro Prime, I knew what I was doing, but I needed the FAQ to kind of point myself in which direction I was going. For Sonic Adventure DX Part 3 and onwards, I used an FAQ to like determine where all the missions were, because finding yeah, them is just a pain. Uh, but, um, uh, my quality is so much better. Uh, which, um, well, it's the same crackliness, but you can uh, hear me now. Which, when you do a level in day, uh, then after you do that, it will switch to night, and so on. But, um, uh, sometimes you'll need to uh, go into a level and then... Uh, yeah, so the thing about this game is that there's a lot of... Each stage has four or so keys or whatever tre treasure chests. Anyway, you need to get the keys in order to open the treasure chest. And the treasure chest will give you items. Now, most items will unlock a path or give you a special ability. Uh, and that was the that was the thing I really loved about this game as well. That was a good amount of backtracking. And I love backtracking. For example, this axe... As you can see, it cuts the tree and it allows you to progress onto the second stage, which is actually, I think, where you need to go. Actually, no, the third stage. The game is only costing ten coins, and it's a game of golf. Okay, and every time I beat a stage, I'll have to do something like this, and that kind of tells me that. Every time I do what? Oh, it's because I'm scrolling down on the FAQ. So, uh, this one. I've actually done that a lot on the Sonic Adventure DX. For Metro Prime it was good because uh, I didn't have to tab no, out. There's no ground pound right now. Um, but uh, there's also a daytime and nighttime thing where basically certain stages speed up, speed up, speed up. Certain, or well, actually alternating between. Well, every time you open a stage, you'll be daytime, or whatever, or whatever, and the next time you open a stage, will be nighttime, and basically different and things will happen at daytime and nighttime. So it's not like doing a jump on the stage. It, it's it's cryptic. It's cryptic. I don't know how someone will figure this out on their own. Uh, but it's very fun. I hope they put on the virtual console for um 3DS. Uh, cause that'd be very fun to play. Or Alien Three. Uh, uh, although they have done the first two Super Mario Land, so I think they may be getting to it. Again, I've, I've never played this game, so yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought this actually LP was a lot better than other LPs. It was long. I'll say, I also, um... Did a thing. What well, did a thing? So My 230 second video extravaganza. 19 views. I don't know why I did that. But yeah, 232 views. Like uh, after part 10 or whatever of this part six. Yeah. It's a very good game as well. Um. Yeah. After this LP, I uploaded the first. Um, F Zero X Custom Track Review Season One Episode One thing. It was Gandalf fakes Jack up. It was pretty fun. Um, although I read off the script for that. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna review it. I may as well. Cause it's got copyrighted material. In it. Well, this is copyrighted material, but it's got like a song. Was it Lunatic Comes Leave You Far Behind? Cause I, cause Ultra Master BDJ. Or Ultra the Hedgehog as he likes to call himself. He um he used that song on like his five thousand uh thingy. Yeah. Um it doesn't it's not very complex at the beginning. Uh oh in this pile a little bit quick because um, we're like seven minutes in I think. I'm not sure. Seven minutes? Yeah. Did you guess it? And, okay. Six minutes. What does it give you? Close. It gives you the green stone tablet. So, yeah. See, I would never say the green stone tablet if I just 
play it that. I would say it's the green thing. But yeah, you get the two pieces, and then it opens up, what, the next stage? And there's like, I think, 16 or 20 stages in total, but there's quite a lot of treasure to get. Stages are pretty big. Oh yeah, it leads you to the west side of the island. It's Japanese, it's kind of a weird game, actually. Yes, I didn't stuff this part up. What? So, I'll what? See you the next part. And we're rolling. And we're, and we're rolling. Okay. This LP got so many okay, views. Guys, this intro is like really Not as many a Toy Story, but it's the second highest. Like, yeah. And good old Traveler's right. Tales. As much as I like Argonaut, well, Traveler's Tales like also makes some very good games. And A Bug's Life is a good one. Traveler's Tales, I can't yeah. remember, but they did, they did make, um... Video. Crash Bandicoot okay, Wrath of Cortex on PS2, that's a game I own. And they also made the uh the Lego yeah, I really don't think they franchise know. seal oh, series, so there. The Lego the Lego insert Siri insert uh franchise here. Yeah. So like Lego and Star Wars, that was um Lego Batman, but whatever. Let's play. I was playing this in the N sixty four one, I've already again this is now, the like first third game the only heads up I have played weird through mushroom before at the bottom. Or is it the second? I can't remember. Uh, but anyway, yes, I, I already did own this on PS on PS One. Of course, the N sixty four one's still different. I mean, the graphics kind of look a lot worse on this just because of the increased resolution. Probably the PlayStation One looks good also because the music is there. Actually, where what do I? Where is the sound on this? Anyway, because I know about this game, I know how everything works. Yeah. And um, that green berry I got? so basically what you do in this game is that you go around, basically you go get to the end of the stage, uh, but across the stage there's grains, there's 50 in the stage, there's also, a, um, there's also the FLIK, you can find those. Yeah. And then yeah, there's also every kill, enemy can be killed with a gold berry, and that actually permanently kills them because they respawn after a while. Spawn, yeah. Gold berry. They won't. Gold berry. Yes. Uh, the there's also that harvester thing, thing that does the gold berry yeah. thing for you, and but you gotta like lug that around. Like I don't think every uh, stage is a gold berry, but but the, like there's a way of killing all the enemies. Um. But it's a pretty fun game. Uh. You know what, actually, I've never seen the whole movie the, straight uh, to finish. I've seen Toy Story 2 and many times. Have to do that, right? I can't, like, quote this so, yeah. movie off by heart, movie, though. Uh, but anyway, yeah, now the interesting thing about the game is that you'll see these seeds on the ground, and so, basically yeah, you throughout the levels you pick up tokens. These tokens, yeah, when you so stack them up, one, one, uh, you get one, huger five, plants. Uh, so, for example, you see that we have a mushroom, we have a weird healing invincibility thing, and we have a leaf. Now, you can swap the colors of these, so for example, I got the green one there, and now I got the tall leaf. So, I switch it to the green one, I jump on it now, and now it's a tall leaf. The tall leaf will allow me to get up higher. I don't know why they have the green and the red, I guess I just wanted different paths, but the, but the primary green and red ones both send you up to, like, early places. The red one sends you up, like, the same way, anyway. Okay. And then, like, uh, the green uh, one off that, yeah, that's uh, awesome. So, you can level everything up four times. I think my commentary was starting to become four a lot times. better than by now. Okay, Ten LPs levels. in. Uh, I think it's because uh, I was thing? doing it with, uh, uh you have that's the end of the stage. By the way, yeah, uh, no, I expect I you to jump over that, first, that wall. Uh, small leaf. Yeah, you Are you thinking, what? There. No, that's a glitch. No, there. there's the eye. Uh, there's small leaf, then, uh, the second one, there's... Leave, but you'll need to get up there this uh by the way it doesn't stop at three but like certain levels uh, go to certain third things one, third one is, uh, that big, that big anyway I don't think I go for a hundred percent on this top, maybe uh, in this stage I do but not in um, I don't think in I, I remember in my real LP I don't remember in this LP yeah, as you can see, although although I do know this stage very well so I go through oh, yeah, all this that thing, this thing, this plan allowed to get uh, but don't touch the spiky ones. Yeah, don't touch those. They are. This is a weird okay, game design so in some um, cases. Like, for example, why is the healing things? They're not spiky yeah, things that will hurt you. Yeah, why aren't I doing Earthbound? Because I'm stuck doing this. 
Oh, oh yeah, yeah I was doing earth mallet some this of time. Those seeds are in the ground of some aunt. But yeah, yeah, yeah when you get them all, then you get like the token them thing. Them yeah, I don't, I didn't go uh, for a hundred percent here, but I went for on the real P, and I'm very glad about that. I got so confused though on the real P. Oh, I got so angry as well because my game deleted. There are some enemies which, like, uh, but, um, camera, Oh yeah, now I gotta get the gold berry. I'm kind of happy about this LP. Kind of happy. So I got the flick, I think I've got the grains. No, I haven't. Oh, yeah. Well, so oh, the worst thing about this game is that when you're missing one item. Oh yeah, and don't care about that person who's, like, up there. Don't person? Don't care about that pink thing. Pink uh, thing. Uh, 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 okay, if you're saying... You, oh, I like this saying, thing. You can, can just you jump up there. Game design 101. Okay, Make I, I ledges know, not curve. You don't know how many people will jump over them. It. Ugh, gruesome. Blue yeah, blood, man. Know, blue blood. Hey, wait, there was a... Oh, there he is. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, the gold berry annihilates everything, and yeah, it like, and them. it permanently kills them. So it doesn't home though. Certain berries can home on enemies, which is handy, but like. And also, some stages will actually get rid of your gold berry throughout the stage. Like, if you pick up another berry, it overrides it no matter what. So, if you lose your gold berry, that's just. Oh, yeah, I remember. On the PS1, he's like, I'm invincible. So, if you're wondering, what is with all this big stuff? I think that's a grape. Sure. I believe there's a weird thing with my emulator, how, like, when you're in front of one of those objects or something, um, like, flick some somehow goes a little transparent. I actually like realized that the emulator has a fault. This is why you don't use emulators, uh, if you have the possibility of using a actual yeah. game. One, because emulators so, are not going to run as well as the actual yeah, game. I won't do and two... Stage, cause that is very straightforward, okay? Uh, and two, um, because the, the emulator will never look as good as the original the game. Even if you increase the resolution, uh, it will just the look the worse, because the game doesn't have the data uh, for it, unless if you, like, completely re the remodel the, the entire game, the game sure, but... Does any will anyone remodel an entire game just to make it look really better? Grand Theft Auto 4. What else? Minecraft? I, I, like, um, I like Toy Story 2. I said like. I, uh, I didn't say Minecraft. Minecraft didn't exist back then. 2008, man. But, um, yeah, on the Such as Kid Icarus. Barely anybody knew about it. Until Brawl came along. Then everybody knew about it. And now we have a 3DS game coming out. Speaking of which, I'm excited for that 3DS game. Of, um... Do I, do I start the next stage? I don't think I do. Uh, but, um... You can just end the level where you want. Then... Oh, yeah, green screen, man, yeah, green screen. Green uh, but yeah, I'm but excited for um, I'm excited go. for uh, and uh, Resident Evil. Evil? No, whatever. Kid Icarus Uprising it looks fun, but I'm not sure about okay, how well it will work on the 3DS. That's it for first part. The next level is tunnels. Oh, and just to let you know, the N64 of the the N64 version, the version has like this challenge mode as well. That's kind of weird. Challenges. Anyway, to oh, the Next oh, video. Well. See you guys next part. Bing. Hey guys, welcome. Ah, to Angry Birds TV and a fish. Kirby is dream the two. Someone called Cheer Thinker. I think I'm not sure if Cheer Think. Oh, jeez, deleting the deleting the slot again. Whoa, Ham Island, no grassland. Um, yeah, I think someone called Cheer Thinker. They uh suggested I play this game back in the days when I did suggestions. Uh. I may as well give my overall thoughts about this LP. I don't really know. I've never played a Kirby game before. No, seriously, I I never played Kirby before. I know I knew of the character. I just had never played Kirby before. Uh, and I'm just like, okay, how do you do any of this stuff? Like, this Kirby kind of controls kind of funny, just in general. I've got uh, the one on the 3DS Ambassador is kind of cool. Uh, plays fairly differently to this. For example, that game's like open world based rather than stage based. 
So like you're in this open world kind of thing you have to go through. You know, you know the Great Maze in Brawl. It's basically that you have to go through certain exits and entrances in order to get to certain areas, and then you get like checkpoints and you have to fight bosses along the way. It's exactly like Great Maze. Well, actually, no, Great Maze is like this. Um, but yeah, I I played this because that someone suggested it. Umbrella. Anyway, uh. I'm not so I'm so happy about this so happy about this uh LP just because um uh just because that I don't think I use any cheats. I haven't been using cheats for a while now. In fact I don't think I use any more cheats. I definitely use save sets and whatnot before Earthbound. Wow. I definitely use save states now. Uh, I use save states for a little bit of Star Fox 64. And quite a lot bit of Star Fox 1. I think Star Fox 1 was the last game I started using save states. Uh, but, um... Why did I use so many save states? I don't know. Well, of course Star Fox is the last one, because I've only done two games on emulators. After that, Pokemon Diamond, you can't aim, you can't do save sets on DS emulator. It doesn't work. And uh, Rhythm Tenkoku, I only use save sets just to get the part right. But uh, anyway, back to Kirby Streamland. Um, let's talk about views, cause you kids like views. My nose is a little bit. Bleh. That's a great word to describe things. Just say it's a bit. Uh, what was I doing now? I was almost through Earthbound. I was up to part 30. And uh, oh, actually, I congratulate my 10th LP. Even though I didn't, I I hadn't been uh, Earth Earthbound. I didn't count Earthbound in that 10th LP thing. Uh, anyway, this this LP didn't get tons of views. It got a few views. It didn't get too many. Got one comment. Not for the whole LP, but just for the first part. No, that's... Ah, uh, someone else, jeez. Um, I love this game! From some guy with Kirby in their name. Or, or girl, I never know. Uh, I also may as well say that after this, after a few parts of Earthbound, after this LP, I made B&L was his name oh, and that's kind of infamous. It was, it was, it was an attempt to get people to say my name properly. I don't know, I, I played online and people just said, Biendo, or whatever. And you know what, I, I'm just like, give up, everybody says Biendo. You know, I yeah, it's probably easier, because Biendo doesn't roll off the tongue as Biendo. I, I say Biendo, because it is Biendo. The home starmy said B and Dow. Also, bosses. A safe state between your bosses. Wow, last hit. Yeah. Nice. If I die on, like, the first boss or whatever. Select. 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 It selects, man. That's how you get rid of your item. <laughs> and then I ate the item as well. Uh, how long am I gonna spend trying to eat that guy? Yeah, there you go. Fireballs! Yum! Oh gosh. Gosh, I just remembered. Um, I made a YouTube poop. I was into YouTube poops back then. And of course, Rabbit Fun is a lame butt one. I remember making one midway through our Warrior Land 3. Uh, I may as well say this. Yoshi and the Bagel. Uh, who commented on that? Three Way! Yes. Because I, cause I put the explicit boop inside of this LP. I uploaded parts out of order. I uploaded part 15 of Warrior Land 3 like the next day after part 19. I think it's because I uploaded four at a time and I missed one. You know what I do now? I edit the part the same day I upload it. And you know what? Actually, I'm recording this on Tuesday. 
Um, of course, the editing is probably later, but... Uh, uh, gosh. I don't know what to talk about War uh, Kirby's Dream Land that much. I've never, I've never, ever played anything or seen anything of Kirby's Dream Land 1. Well, I can imagine it will be a similar thing. <sighs> Interesting commentary I see. Yeah, I, I'm not too fond of... Of, um, blind LPs, or at least my own blind LPs. I probably think other people... Like, Nintendo Capri Sun doing Conker's Bad Fur Day. I mean, like, jeez. You guys seen that? That's like the funniest stuff ever. Uh, but, uh, I can't do blind LPs for the most part. Uh, Sonic Adventure DX is pushing it, but... But, considering that, it's, it's not like I have to... I'm seeing too much new stuff. I have already played through the stages of it, yes, but... Actually, yeah. I already know what's going to happen as well, so... Yeah. It's horrible stuff. This uh, I'm actually not too fond of this of this part. Just watching it back. Maybe a black and white thing races me, but it may be a thing about that. Like just the black and white doesn't encourage me enough. What kind of colourful game entices me? Not the blob though. The blob didn't entice me too much when I played it. I haven't let's play it, just to warn you guys that. Um That's not putting me off though. That's not putting me off though. Oh, of course, get this. Ah, uh, so much. Oh, gosh. I filmed this so much earlier, and then I realized that I've got these out of order now. Anyway, yeah. Movie Maker put, like, these awkward, not quite black bars on the side. Thank you, Movie Maker. Appreciate it. Okay, now if someone's gonna say, "Oh, you, you're ripping off Chucker Conroy," first of all, I don't know how many subscribers Chucker yeah, Conroy have at this point. Out. Probably if several hundred or thousand yeah. or whatever, um, maybe. When was the first part of this I uploaded? Actually, a lot before, but I ended it after, which was kind of bad. I don't think I, re I didn't. I definitely changed stuff. First thing I'm going to say. How can you not know what? <laughs> yeah, I decided to look up their actual names, even though that if you say don't care, it's the first name that comes up. <laughs> Thank you very much. Earthbound is actually a very fun game, and I'm surprised none of them were released in Europe. This is the only... By the way, I've never played this game. <laughs> this is the only game that I've... Uh, that I actually hope... That I actually hope to get in the future. I would like to get a good copy of this. Uh, it's funny because this kid looks a lot like Grant. <laughs> oh gosh, yes. I should have named him Grant. <laughs> well, I didn't know Grant back then. In fact, I didn't know Grant until like the end of 2011. So like, three years later. Good old Grant. He's not old, he's like younger than me. Um, this LP ended up being 57 parts long. And I kind of took a very long hiatus during, uh, uh, after part 30, I was just like, yeah, it's gone so boring. But you know what, actually, I was, a I'm actually very glad that I finished it. I'm not very glad of how I took it, probably. I started this in August, which was after Warrior Land 2. Yeah. 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 Like... In fact, we got a comment on part three. I love your voice from Starry Eyed Robot. Thank you, Starry Eyed Robot. By the way, most of these comments are old comments. Nobody comments on these that much anymore. Um, thank you guys for 
for pointing for commenting on the new ones. Um, in fact, I didn't up. Well, I uploaded like part wow. uh, parts all the way to 27, Hello. and then I said I can't help you, mother, mother one. For, yeah, back in the franchise days. Back in the franchise days, yes. Um, in fact, I was going to do a franchise days. I was going to do Golden Sun one and two. I had never played Golden Sun before. I played Golden Sun three on a DS. That is a very good game. We'll get to that one. We'll get to Golden Sun, which is the next one. Anyway, yeah, Earthbound. Um, this LP, I'm not too proud of. Um, the game is very fun. The LP, not very fun. It, it was back in the old SingStar like days. Yeah, I, I can commentate back then. Derpy. Derpy sister. Go back. Where's my back button? Oh, it's the left. Okay. But, um... Who are you talking I'm to? I'm not talking to anybody. It's actually kind of... <laughs> it, it's a kind okay. of weird game, actually. It's a um... Back. It actually gets very tough. Don't I need to equip? Guy gets maybe not. Guy gets isn't... Pr well, I actually didn't find too much trouble with Gygus, uh, in the end. It was like, Starman, uh, you know what, actually someone recommended this to me. Uh, what was his name? Starman, you know, actually I wrote down his name when I started this LP. Hold on, hold on kids. But uh, what else, um, the weird, the weird, um, oh yeah, figuring out the controls, just like me. Um. The angle of the game is kind of weird. It's unique, I'll say that, but it's weird. Um. Uh. Nah. You guys like chicken? Uh. I, I didn't write. I'm gonna say Starman Phantom. I think that was his name. I think that's actually the name of Ladder, Ladder Boss. Yeah. Yeah. But um. Yeah, why, why does an do stuff? This first part didn't really doesn't show him that much. Menu. I remember Chuck no, Conroy. I didn't watch him back then, by the way. Uh, I remember, although I did watch the first few of his parts here. So, he this is an RPG. he was not on my standard. He was a lot above my standard. That was because he was already like 18 or whatever. And how old was I? 11? No, 12. 12. Yeah. And I'm not open. There's a prayer roll. There's a prayer roll. Yeah, um, what else? Hey, hey, hey buddy. Um, <laughs> weird guy, yes. Uh, uh, back to the hypercam days, yeah. Actually, we're on hypercam days for him. Bullet billboard. Yeah, He's in, um, with a lot of stuff, we aren't we? Oh, uh, gosh. His name is Pokey. He also seems to look identical to that guy in Brawl. You know, that there's like a boss. Yeah. Okay. Time to run back. Wait. Oh, yeah, because I've also mapped a button on Zed's Nest. Oh, Zed's Nest. Yes, Zed's Nest. They have a slow down button, and I'm like, oh, what's going on? So I'm just, like, holding down the space bar. While I walk slowly, and it's like, oh, I think there's something with the game. It's like, no, you press the slow down button. Whoa, what are you doing here, Mom? Not necessarily talk. Let's go up to bed. Late at night. It's a good game, I just can't say anything through it. Because I've never... Ugh. I think one reason of the hiatus was that I thought it was very tough, and also maybe because I wasn't enjoying it too much. But. Oh no, it's Pokey. Pokey. I mean, Pokey. Pokey. Um, but uh. Oh, good evening, man. You're looking as lovely as usual. 
Ah, gosh, um, I am left speechless. Uh, I'm actually finding it difficult to sit through these. Uh, don't worry, it'll get better. It'll get better. Um, I think the high as was probably one of the same reasons I didn't go through Golden Sun, which is next up. I, I just didn't enjoy the game too much to, like, say that. And yes, I'm, like, 30 parts in. Jeez. I was actually probably near the latter third of the game. But just because of how stupid... I spent an entire part in the Golden Sun LP, I think, just wandering around. You know what, actually, I'm gonna have to probably... Super Mario Galaxy 2 Advance, I'll say it right now. I've got, um... I've uploaded up to, like, part 13, but I've got, like, files up to part 24, and I probably need to upload those. I'm probably gonna upload those when I... when I'm back in the... back in the swagger, although it may be too late back... By then, I don't know. Will you guys mind like year or two year old footage? Oh gosh, yeah. Oh my gosh, how does Chugga Conroy do it? Oh, and I think my game crashed. Zedness just does it. Sorry about that, that was this weird emulator glitch. I, I don't know why. Well, like... Whoa! 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 Oh no, it's a spitiful crow! What do we do? Let's bash it! Whoa, I'm very animous about that! Hiya! It failed to steal something. This game like actually has some very... It's very, very strange. Well, like, first of all, bash? It's not attack, it's... It's bash it, and it's like, you don't just find item, they yeah, drop a present. <laughs> and it's like, the bird tried to steal, but it failed. Whoa. The dialogue in this game is brilliant. Runaway dog. Runaway guys? No, Runaway dog? <gasps> you can kind of hear the music, but... I got Next girl I see makes my pee-pee go up. <laughs> no. Get out, Chaka. Go! Ah, uh, good old, the good old iToy mic. I use the iToy mic until I don't know. Yeah, Actually, no, I use the iToy mic until oh, yeah, Barbie Super up. Sports. Please do, wake up! <laughs> very, very lovely mum voice. I can't read! Again, yeah, save states and whatever. Until I got to Rayman and... Empress New Grove, or, or in fact, just the real piece in general. This is actually a very cool game. I like it. I hadn't realized back then that, um... I hadn't realized that, uh... Have, have any of you guys played Harry Potter 3 for, um, Game Boy Advance? Is is a rip-off. Well, not a rip-off. I can't say a rip-off. But it's... Heavily based on this game. Uh, like for example, the PSI abilities. Uh, <laughs> you've got the spells, and the whole the battle thing kind of works in the same way, and the graphics are kind of similar. I I I'm actually I'm actually kind of kind of cool. Yeah, if you guys want to play like a not quite golden sun, just like play that. No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Repeating. Yeah. Um. This LP, probably one of my worser ones. I didn't enjoy it too much. And I hope it's on the virtual console because I really wanna. I really wanna play, it, but I don't wanna let's play. RPGs don't do terribly well. Just because RPGs involve a repetitive thing. Wait, game facts? Don't use game facts, use game rankings if you're gonna judge a game. Uh, ha ha. Uh, that, that doesn't even come close to the thing. I guess I'm gonna have to tell my friend. But yeah, um... My friend is already evacuated. You can spend as much time... I don't know whether I was using the emulator recorder, I think I was. 
I think I probably was. I'm sorry, that just looks very obscure. I'm sorry I'm too. Sure you never saw oh gosh. Um yeah, Let's talk about views, good. shall we? Um, I enjoyed the DS game a lot, although I thought it was kind of short for an RPG. For an RPG, the DS game got me about 20, 22 hours of content, which is, you know, a substantial amount of content, but, like, I expect longer. Like, I've I've heard Xenoblade Chronicles for Wii, which I know is a horrible, horrible judgment just for a game that's on a console and it came out, like, seven years after. But that game's, like, 60 hours long. Pokemon takes quite a while. Um, yeah, Pokemon takes a while, so I'm like, okay. I don't know how long this is, but judging from the length of my parts, I'm, I'm like five hours in, so I'm like a quarter of the way in, I think. Or maybe I'm halfway there, I don't know. I don't know, the FAQ doesn't say too much. Earthbound, yeah, Earthbound took probably about ten hours of speeding up. Speeding up, yes. Uh, but yeah, the DS game, like 20, actually, yeah. The DS game, I'm comparing it with the DS game. 20 hours. Like, really? I mean, I mean, I guess it was just kind of hard. The graphics... Stylized. I think it might have worked better if it was more like this kind of graphic style. You know, the sprites on the world thing. Actually, actually, probably no. Sprites on sprites. Like, just make the entire game 2D. Like Pokemon, Poke how do they, how do they make it work so much in Pokemon then? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I like this game's uh, story kind of based thing. Uh, although you don't know any of these characters really, and then one of them dies, and you're just like, okay. You, you don't get any time with that character as well. Um, again, back to Xenoblade because Xenoblade is awesome. Uh, but, uh, Xenoblade, uh, you're, like, playing around, and then suddenly this bad thing happens, and you think, okay, that'll be the end of the intro, and then one of the character dies. <laughs> slight, slight spoilers. Pick up where the previous left off. Oh, you mean, like, one of the only games that does that, I don't know. I don't know any other games that have, like, a password system to regain your stuff. But, um, I do like that idea, and I was intending, back in the series days, I was intending to play, you know, that's why I uploaded the don't, I can't up, I can't play mother thing, even though that there is a ROM hack that has the English translations. Um, and then the fighting. I didn't, I didn't, oh, gosh. Wild mushroom! I thought some of the things that I kind of have... They kind of carry over now. You know what, actually, I'm just going to be, like, like psychic in my yeah. new game. Like, on game to the top ten anyway, what else? Um, Oh no, we're trapped. Yes. Um. Anyway, let's let's say stuff. Stay stuff. Blah 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 blah. Um. What was I doing at this time? Uh. Nothing. Didn't get too many. I uh, got two thumbs down. The first part. Yay. What's going on? Hang on, Felix. Felix, we'll find. We'll be all right. We'll find a way to save him. Synergy, I think. It's not synergy. It's like synergy, like that source mod. What else was I doing? Um, part way through this, I had the um. Yeah, this is the last bit of the of the video. Yes, this video. But uh. I, 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 um, started up the, uh, Master Evolution thing after, what was after this, Spire of the Dragon, yeah, and by then, you know, filming on TV, and actually playing a game properly, yes, what else, vlog break, 
WTF happened to my Wii remote? Where I punched a Teletubby? Track Mania Nations review, GIMP tutorial, being I was unboxing the, the DSi. Oh gosh. I was so, so, so not not consistent with my videos back then. I remember taking a three month hiatus. In fact, in fact, when did I upload the first part of this? I'm just looking up. November 15, okay? I upload part 5 in December 3. That's like a fortnight. Some more parts, December 9. And then the next video I upload was January 6. January 6, that's a whole month. And you know what? I actually jumped to the next page and the f top video is there on uh, December 10. December, like that that next year. So like, in fact, you know what? I didn't upload a whole video for like a few months after that. The Master Revolution stuff came in April, so geez. Oh, that, oh I was doing Spyro 2 though, so stuff like that. Uh, I was doing some Star Fox and whatnot. And then after the Star Fox... Videos in May... Very few of them. One video in June. No videos in July, and then some Picross 3D in Jul in August. A little bit of Spore in September. Two, sorry, two videos of Spore and a Picross 3D in September. No, one video of Spore and, and one of Picross 3D in September. A few videos in October. Actually, quite a lot. Quite a few parts of stuff. And then November 1st. That's when Star Fox. Star yeah, I started getting inconsistent with my videos. So I'm actually pulling it together now. Um, back in the old day, I kind of uploaded videos on, I, I think Super Mario, uh, what was it, Metroid Prime was a bit of the spur of the moment thing, and I, I did like the LP that I did of that, we'll get to that then, in fact, yeah, let's just talk about when we get there, I'll probably forget, but back then I didn't have schedules, I uploaded four videos at once when I felt like it, my internet was low and my dad wouldn't yell at me, because my dad would yell whenever the internet usage was like that's exactly what the scene plays out like how did you do i found this guy send us a time then my brother is still felix is all right he's hanging in there come down here so we can say felix come down come down oh oh no what the oh that is so not good bomb bomb the, the the audio is in sync. Montage. Montage? Is that really a montage? Oh, so four people die. Oh wait, so it's like oh wait, we're playing. See you guys next part. Yeah. Uh, golden Arp. sun. Kimi wo mate nakute, konya sayonara, mou to ai shi ai takata, kodoku na yoru ga shiyawase datta koro wo takusan omoi tasaseru.